Coronata Millie Centani, a recipe for generosity, generativity, and community. My parents moved to the United States from Italy while they were both teenagers. They met while living in the same building in New York. I was raised there in the Bronx, in a building with 20 other families. We were all like one family. Every mother was a mother to every child living there. The first day I went to school, the teacher told my mom, in Coronado would be too hard for the teachers and students to pronounce. So she looked at me and told me that Mildred was my new name. In school, we had assignments where they had us cut pictures out of a book like an apple, for example, and bring it to class to write a story about it. My mother didn't read or write, and there was not one book of paper in the house. It was the depression, you know. I had to make my own pictures. It was a necessity. That's what taught me to paint. I still paint what my heart desires. I hated East Cambridge when I first moved here with my husband in 1946. I lived in an Irish neighborhood and thought it was very cold. Not like the warm families and friends I was used to in New York. That all changed when I was raising my boys here. They were always so many kids in the house, usually at least 10. They loved to come and eat in Mrs. C's kitchen. That's what they called it. One time, they all walked to my home, and when they got there, they realized they had forgotten my son. I said to them, where's Pat? They were like my own kids. I didn't like having a quiet house, so I was glad. I just added a little more water to the soup and the sauce, and they were happy. Like painting, I taught myself to cook. It was my passion. Volunteers Magazine called me the Jew of the Childs of East Cambridge. I have written a cookie cookbook with 130 recipes, and all the proceeds go to the children's program at East End House. I have also another cookbook with 300 recipes that I'm illustrating. I still cook for the neighborhood and teach anyone who wants to learn because I have once again realized we're all family. July 10th, 2001 was my 80th birthday. It was the hottest day. I left my house with my son. I said, Ralph, there's a lot of people out there. You better call the police. I didn't know. Then I looked and saw all my friends and the mayor and everyone. They named the street after me. I have so many wonderful people around me. I am so lucky. Growing up, we didn't have anything, but what we had, we shared. I still rather eat a half a sandwich with a friend than eat a whole one alone.